Hi, welcome back to Movie Review Mom. Today the movie I'm reviewing is Fantastica, A Boonie Bears Adventure. This movie is very sweet. It's rated G, which is always a pleasure. <laughs> it is 83 minutes long and the grade I gave it is actually a B minus. I'll tell you why, but first in a quick nutshell, I need to disclose that the producers of this film sent me a private Vimeo link so that I could preview it at home before it hit theaters. And so I watched it on my computer screen. Now granted, I have a really large computer screen, um, but that I also am previewing it for the Viva Kids. They're the studio that brings the Boonie Bears, this colorful children's movie, to the big screen. It has some beautiful animation, fantastical creatures, and a magical adventure that some kids might really enjoy. It's a family-friendly film, and it opens on June 14, 2019, and in, in select theaters, and on direct TV. So, some tips for parents are, first of all, parents might be bored within the first few minutes. Hopefully, kids will last longer. <laughs> the very beginning, you kind of get a taste. You first get the introduction of this environment out in nature, and the animation is just beautiful. The leaves and rocks and stones, flowers, everything is so beautiful. So, as soon as it, the, the movie opened, I was like, whoa, this is so nice. And then these goofy characters start to get on the screen, on the scene, and the lips don't match with the mouth, with the, you know, the audio and the video aren't quite synced up. And I thought, oh no, this could be a really bad movie. And that's just within the first few minutes. So parents, give it some time, <laughs> be patient, and then I think you might enjoy it. Um, there's no profanity, it's rated G, which is always a pleasure. There is fighting uh, and people and creatures in peril, but you know, I think almost all cartoons have that these days, right? Some positive themes are that all things in nature are living, and that's a great principle to teach your children. Be free and unafraid, that comes from lyrics in one of the songs, and there are some new sweet original songs in the movie, which is great. It's not, I wouldn't say it's a musical, but there are just um, a couple songs that I can think of that um, are overlaid on some action that, that are kind of the themes of the song of the movie. Uh, environmentalism kind of has to tie in with all things in nature are living and taking care of the planet and every creature that lives on the planet. Again, another great lesson for our children to learn. And then Briar, who is voiced, he's one of the bears, he's voiced by Mario Lopez, says, no matter what lies ahead, we can't be stopped. And he and this other bear are very determined. And then, of course, they have friendship. They develop new friends along the movie. And the theme of loyalty is also there. So some of the things that I really liked are, first of all, as I mentioned, the film has some beautiful animation, especially in these nature scenes. There's some beautiful detail. And, and in fact, um, some of the, the magical, fantastic uh, uh, scenes reminded me of the beautiful landscapes and textures in the movie Avatar. So that's pretty awesome because Avatar is just wondrous and I can't wait to see the next movie. And in fact, I finally got to go to Avatar Land two weeks ago. I went to Ar Orlando and went to Disney's Animal Kingdom and I was so excited. I wanted to be wowed. And when you first walk in, I was like, Wow, <laughs> it actually was what I had hoped and dreamt it would be. And, and then there's some fun rides and all that other kind of stuff. But anyway, so it had that kind of an element to it, which I loved. And then some of the animated people looked so real when they're in their human world. I had to really look closely at my computer screen because I thought for a minute maybe it was live action mixed with animation and when I looked further I thought no that's animation and it was just so well done and then these humans go into Fantastica and then they become another type of an animated person which was really clever and, and cute it wasn't explained exactly why that was the way that it was but whatever it was it was really well done I thought that was impressive the the big major voice talents of the movie are Mario Lopez and Josh Peck 
they play the two boony bears. Now, I was completely unfamiliar with these boony bear characters. I'd never seen any movie. And I guess I can tell you, you don't have to have seen any of the prior movies to understand or appreciate this movie. However, one of the weaknesses of the movie is it doesn't really introduce you to these bears and, and give you time or sufficient time to fall in love with them and really understand their unique personalities. It kind of assumes that you already know and love their characters. And so for me, I'm familiar with them. The bears just kind of felt like two of the other many characters in the movie and it didn't feel like it was their unique adventure. In fact, it kind of felt like it was the adventure of some of the other characters that seemed to get more screen time. So there's that. Um, there were these little floating mushrooms that were adorable and kind of reminded me of the movie Spirited Away, as well as those little floating things also in the movie Avatar. And in fact, the movie kind of reminded me of a lot of movies. For example, there's this one fight scene that kind of looks like The Matrix. You know, the, this girl goes backwards, you know, like Neo does in the movie The Matrix. It actually made me laugh out loud. And then um, there's another character that wears kind of an Iron Man jacket, including like the Avengers glove kind of thing. And it, I don't know if they were just trying to give a wink to the audience or kind of borrow some of those popular items from other movies to ensure that they had a popular hit movie. I don't know. But anyway, there's another um, character in, in the movie, and he reads this book called The Road to Success in order to improve himself. And I really liked that notion and the idea of teaching your kids that that's a great thing to do. So after you watch this movie with your kids, say, did you notice he was trying to become his best self? You know, how how can we become better each day? What can you do? And then you can even continue that conversation by sharing some of your own favorite self-development material with your kids and work on that together because I liked that element. It did kind of run throughout the movie, which I appreciated rather than have it just be one quick little scene. Um, and then young girls will be really, really happy that there is a very strong female lead as we're seeing in a lot of movies uh, lately. Um, now, some things that I didn't particularly like, and one is that this movie will definitely make you remember why Pixar, Illumination, and Disney are so great. When you see movies that aren't quite to the same standard, you go, oh, wow, you know, what was it that's missing? And you can even talk to your, your kids will probably be oblivious, especially if they're very young. But if you have older kids that watch this, ask them, you know, what makes some of those other studios so successful what could what do you think this studio could do to be able to rise to that standard and that could be an interesting conversation especially if you have kids that are interested in filmmaking and editing or you know that kind of thing the movie um let's see oh i'm kind of i'm reading my notes and i think i'm gonna i've already mentioned some of these other things uh Oh, okay. So I mentioned how the, it was distracting having the audio and video, or not the video, but the mouths of the characters didn't quite match up. You could tell they were trying. It just, the, the, the skill level wasn't quite there, I think. Um, and then some of the voices themselves of the characters were kind of strange and didn't match the characters' appearances or personalities at all. And maybe that was a deliberate attempt at humor, but it just kind of felt off. Um, and, and that's probably just me. For example, there's this guy who's supposed to be all burly and macho, and he's got this little tiny voice. And... You know, I recognize that that's an attempt at humor, but some of the other voices didn't quite match also. Some of the editing was a little bit choppy in parts. And there's this, I mentioned that there's some music and some musical scenes. There's this one musical montage that just kind of screeched the pacing to a halt. And it just didn't feel like it quite belonged or wasn't done well enough. It was kind of strange. And it, it even had this forced tearful moment that didn't quite work, at least not for me. Sorry about that. One of the, the biggest things that will affect the, the uh, what do I want to say, the parents' expectations is you have to wait 39 minutes before you get to Fantastica until this movie becomes Avatar-like-ish. Um, 
So just like I mentioned before, be patient. Another thing about the characters is some of their motivations are unclear. I know that this is a cartoon for kids, but since a lot of parents will need to sit through it, it's just one of the things that kind of frustrated me and bothered me. I'm like, okay, why are they doing this thing? And again, kids are not going to care so much about plot and, and character arc and motivation and all of that kind of thing. I'm just reviewing the movie. Uh, it also with the audio, it kind of sounded like an old fashioned Saturday morning cartoon. I'm of the age that really to watch cartoons, we had to wait until Saturday morning and then all Saturday morning was just a bunch of cartoons. Of course, now we have them on demand, which is awesome. But there was that sound. Maybe what I'm trying to say is it sounded like the 70s or 80s cartoons, maybe. Um, and again, maybe it was going for that type of sound effect. I don't know. There are also some things that just simply are not explained, which could be confusing for children. They probably won't care, but parents might get a little frustrated by some of that kind of stuff. And then there's some characters that are in the very beginning of the movie that I was thinking, oh, I need to be invested in these characters. And then they just vanish and you never hear from them again. So that was kind of odd. And then there's this element of the movie about good guys versus bad guys but this is a little bit of a spoiler in order to have this magical thing happen the bad guys had to have been there for, to propel that forward so what is it that they're trying to say that you have to have evil to bring about the good again i know children are not going to overthink this a lot of parents are not going to overthink this as well. But don't, those were just some of the things as I was trying to come up with things that I didn't like. If you put all of that aside and just focus on this fantastica and this beautiful land and kind of immerse yourself in it, then I think that you'll enjoy it. And like I mentioned, it's very colorful. There's almost nonstop action. Things are happening. There's lots of chaos and, and frenzy which kids like, so it's great for short attention spans, and, and it's family friendly, and we are kind of hard pressed to find some family friendly material, especially for really young ones. So I think if you're gonna go to the theater, you'll enjoy it, it's, it's a day out in the air conditioned theater, grab some popcorn, and just enjoy being with your kids. See if they, if your kids can point out any of these elements. And one of the things that I love the best about families watching movies together are the conversations that you can have together. So be sure and talk to your kids about what they learned in the movie and if they can pull out any themes. And if they can, then it's time well spent. All right, that's my review. I think you will enjoy this movie if you allow yourself to get lost in the color and the beauty. So be sure and subscribe, tell your friends, comment below, visit my website, moviereviewmom.com. And what else did I forget to say? Thank you. Thank you for supporting my channel and watching this review. Bye for now.